environment. This term has been widely discussed and in sense essentially encompasses the idea that the time spent in the classroom is focused on student group activities where discussion among pupils is promoted. At first, this new design seems like an ideal classroom function, but from a student perspective, this method has some faults. <coughs> Primarily, I would like to address the issue that learner-centered environment that a learner-centered environment may seem good in concept. But when, in my classrooms, teachers have tried out the system, results have been very mixed. Take, for instance, our social studies class. Our teacher often gives us worksheets to do in our table groups without further instruction than do questions A through F. Oftentimes, I experience students in my class not bothering to do these trivial questions, as it seems to them, as they are under no scrutiny from the teacher. This is one downside to a learner-centered environment. Students lacking self-motivation see no point in participating in class activities if they're not forced to. To quote one of my classmates, quote, although it sounds like many points are good ideas, I think that overall, this concept will not benefit all students because the higher achievers are more motivated to do the work no matter what. But the less motivated students will probably ignore the work they have to do because they do not understand how it will help them, end quote. This issue isn't based on good and evil and it cannot be viewed from a black and white perspective. We need to find a good balance of both methods, and this is already what the good teachers do. On the other hand, it appears that the more mediocre teachers only or mostly utilize methods such as learner-centered environment, which allows them to lean heavily on the students, turning, into, turning the classroom into the situation described, when the high-achieving students are the only ones compelled to be productive. As seen then, only using the learner-centered environment method does not end up being the best way to run a classroom. In addition, technology is considered a resource that can be used for a learner-centered environment. After all, it is learner-centered if the pupils are doing their own research by themselves. However, as I see in many of my classes, self-motivated students will do as they are told while well, the less motivated students will actually prefer to go shoe shopping online, while others play computer games on the Chromebooks, this being distracting, not to mention outright disrespectful. However, many teachers choose not to notice this. After all, even if kids are shoe shopping or playing video games, the classroom is kept quiet because everyone has their eyes glued to a screen. As well summarized by a fellow student, quote, sustaining the stronger direction on part of the teachers is necessary to keep the classroom functioning at a steady pace